Hey everyone, you're about to watch a video that's going to get thousands of views. Very cool, but your ad needs to be right here. Give me a call. On Wednesday, July 26th, Lieutenant Governor Jacqueline Coleman appeared in Knott County to announce the partnership between the Appalachia Service Project and Christian Appalachian Project. During the announcement, a new home was dedicated to two Knott County flood survivors. Coleman shares her thoughts on this past year's effort to rebuild the region. The people in Kentucky are, are in my mind, the best people that there are because We've seen neighbors help neighbors. We've seen volunteer organizations step up. Um, we've seen local leaders. I mean, D Judge Jobson here in Knott County had his home ruined in the flood, and yet he spent day and night trying to figure out how to help his neighbors. And that's leadership. Um, that's, that's what you want in, in a time of need is to, to see that people are gonna show up for you when you need them the most. And so while, while the nature, uh, the, the destruction that nature caused was devastating. The humanity that we've continued to see from Team Kentucky is exactly what I believe makes us so special. The recipients of this new house, Reggie Ritchie and his wife, are overwhelmed by the community support and volunteer help they've received. The effort to help other flood survivors is ongoing. It's, it's been a blessing. You know, we've, we've had people that have helped that, yeah, you just would have never imagined. Um, like I said, I'm you know I'm uh, worked for ARH for over 30 years. ARH has been there. You know they've really helped us. Um, you know the other um, local groups, the the outside groups. I mean it's been a collaborative effort for sure, and uh, people have stepped in. I mean I have friends in other you know states that have you know helped us when we needed help, and it's it's been really. Uh, uh, heartfelt, you know, the, the response we've got from people. So reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.